What's up everyone, welcome to episode 9 of Game Dev. In this episode we're going to be looking at turning this simple triangle into an actual quadrilateral. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a longer episode. Uh, let's get right into it. First things first, last episode we changed this so that when we scale the window here, the actual project will scale. So we'll need to add in that into our shaders so that we can recognize if this is actually a lot larger or a lot smaller. Uh, just so we can have a good reference for sizing. So here, we will add in a new uniform, map 4 as well, and new cam matrix. This is just going to be the outer window, and we will just add it after the project for the perspective matrix here. Okay, so again, we're just adding that in so that we can accurately define the size of these different scaled uh, resolutions. Okay, so that's pretty much that. We should probably add it in here as well. So we will go up to here, add cam matrix location, just copy this, and replace the variables. Okay, so there's that. Now let's actually turn this into a quadrilateral. So what we're going to do here is we will create a new class, we'll just call it a quad for now. And in this quadrilateral, we are going to move the shader into it, so each quadrilateral can have its own shader. Uh, these three variables here will also be localized to the quadrilateral simply because they're relative to the shader. Uh, and these constants we can move out of the game and just bring them up here. For now, I'll find a better place to put these later on. Okay, uh, and I think those are the variables we need. So let's create our constructor quad and we're going to call this dot shader. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to input a variable as a parameter to this quadrilateral and it will automatically set the shader to whatever that parameter is. So we don't actually have to have any like this dot shader is equal to shader as, as we did before. Okay, so now we're just going to copy out crap from here. Uh, we don't need that line. These two lines we're going to bring up as well. We'll go in here and fix the formatting on them. Uh, we will also need these three as well. I'm actually going to move something around here. This float32 list, we're going to bring it and put it under the vertex data here, simply because that's where it's relative to. And these things should actually probably go up at the top, just so we can sort things out a little bit better. Uh, now, for the vertex data, we want to change this so that we have, as I said, that quadrilateral with uh, two triangles in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a fourth vertex here. And we're going to change these numbers here. And what we're going to change them to is first, the first one is going to be absolutely zeroed out. So that'll be like this corner here. Then we're going to go over to the second vertex, which will be over here. So we'll go zero. And then one on there. Actually, no, let's put it over there. So one X and then 0y, so it'll just move over. Uh, the next one is going to be 1, 1, so it'll be this corner here. And then the last one will be 0 and 1, which will be this corner here. Okay, I actually need a comma here. So we'll have, again, the first vertex here, second vertex over here, third vertex down here, and then when we draw the second triangle, it'll be the first vertex up here, third vertex down here, and the fourth vertex over here. Okay. So this as well, we need to define the order that we're rendering. So again, we're going to be rendering 0, 1, 2, and then 0, 2, 3. And let's bring all of this crap. Yeah, just all of it. Right up here. And fix the formatting on it. So now we need, we're going to take a method, and we're actually going to make this method uh, set them here. Set these perspective matrix, the model matrix, and stuff like that. Uh, but for the first one, what we're only going to do is we'll call it set camera, and it'll take the uh, set the perspective matrix, and also the matrix for cam matrix. So this will just set these two, and we will pull those out from in here. And first one is p matrix dot storage. Second one is u cam. Okay, so that'll just set those. Uh, now let's create the last function here. And it's going to be a render function. We'll take an x, a y coordinate, a width, and a height. So we have 
sizing for it, so this will set things up for uh, later when we want to do uh, textures and stuff like that. And what we're going to do in there is we're going to set this stuff. We're going to keep the perspective matrix in, the, in this render function, uh, but we'll take out these three and stick them up in this render here. And we will need to create that matrix for uh, MV matrix up here. Matrix for dot identity. Okay. So we have that localized. Uh, now set first off, we need to actually set this up a little bit. So we're going to clear it out first. Then we're going to need to move it back, and we're only going to move it back one into the buffer here. Now we'll need to translate it. And be matrix. Dot translate. Uh, you could just do this all in one, but I'm going to separate them out. And we're going to need to translate this x times 1.0, the y times 1.0, and then 0.0. .0. So that'll just translate along the x and y. And then we need to scale it. So mv matrix dot scale. And we'll do it width times 1.0. And height times 1.0. And 0.0. Okay. And that should be everything we need here. Uh, draw elements. We need to change the second variable here to now 6 because we have 6 different vertexes that we're going to be drawing total. Again, 0, 1, 2, and 0, 2, 3. So we'll change that up to 6. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now we just need to actually set it up down here. So what we're going to do first off is we'll create that camera matrix right here. Uh, in the start function, actually hold on, we need a quadrilateral first off, so quad quad. We'll set one up here. Quad is equal to new quad. Uh, and test shader. So again, that'll just set it in the constructor up here. We'll just automatically do that. Uh, so then down here we have the perspective matrix, then we'll set up the cam matrix. So we're going to say double scale, it's for the scale of the window, and that's going to be equal to 1.0 divided by canvas dot height, and then camera ma matrix uh, equal to new matrix 4 dot identity. There it is. And then scale it by scale, scale, and 1.0. Okay, so I'll just set up the cam matrix so we actually have the scale of the window affected in it. Uh, and then we're just going to render it. We're going to quad.set camera and p matrix cam matrix and quad.render. First off, let's just render something at 0, 0. Let's make it like 16 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. And if everything went correctly, should now have quadrilateral in here. Oh, I forgot something here. We actually need to do shader.use. There. Let's render it now. So you'll see that we have a quadrilateral here, and depending on the scale of the actual window, we, it should be 10 pixels by 100 pixels. Uh, smaller, it'll get a lot smaller than that, and bigger, it'll scale it up a little bit. Uh, we can change this to whatever out, out we all want. We can make it a straight square and render it, there you go. Nice perfect square, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. So this will set us up for our actual rendering of textures, which we're going to look at next episode. So I will see you guys then, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time.